Okay, we're gonna need a lot of watches for this. All right, just when I felt like I'd given up on classic NATO straps, I come across a company that's doing a great job at producing just really fresh, high quality, back to basics, excellent NATO straps. And not just NATO straps, some other cool ones as well. I got an email a couple weeks ago from a guy named Nick over at North Watch Straps, and he offered to send in some stuff for review. And he basically sent me their entire store. And I'm kind of glad he did because these are some really cool NATO straps. Anyways, let's start taking a look. All right, I think Nick over at North Straps really likes NATOs because he's got a lot of different kinds of NATOs. I mean, I didn't even know there were this many kinds of NATOs out there. I, yeah, he must have just kept thinking up new NATOs to make. Um, you know, if you like your super tough NATOs that have those buckles and things that don't have any breaking points, he's got those. If you like seatbelt NATOs, he's got those. If you've got standard NATOs, elastic NATOs, even NATOs I didn't even know them. I didn't even know you could make a NATO out of a canvas strap. Um, so we're going to go through these and try them on some different watches. I think it'll be fun. Um, I'll try and run through kind of quickly because we have so many different ones. Um, I think he actually sent me seven different lines of straps, plus a really cool, um, this looks like a waxed canvas uh, watch pouch and a nice little watch tool. So we'll check all that out. And I've got 12 watches and we're going to try it on a bunch of watches and see how they look on these different ones. So let's start with uh, these ones over here. These are the ones that he's billing the Elite NATO straps. This one goes for about $20 on their website. This is a seatbelt style NATO with solid hardware that doesn't have any point of failure. So the original intent and idea of a NATO strap is that you have your watch secured in such a way that if a spring bar pops off, uh, if one spring bar pops off, the other one on the other side will still be attached to a uh, to the strap and the watch will just kind of flap around but it won't fall off your wrist. Whereas with a standard two-piece strap, if one spring bar breaks, the whole watch will fall off. Um, the challenge is that many NATO straps, in fact the majority of NATO straps, they have either uh, folded keepers so the metal could potentially bend under enough stress and then pop off which could allow the watch to slip off or they'll have a spring bar here which if this spring bar fails, then the buckle will fail and the watch can also fall off your wrist. So some people are really into security with their NATOs and they want NATOs that have, are basically impossible to fail. And that's what these elite ones offer. And I believe these are the only ones in the line that have this level of security. So this is solid metal going across here, solid metal keepers. These are not folded. There's no spring bars into it. Um, double stitching all the way around. Very smooth, very uh, soft seatbelt style. Uh, material very comfortable you know it's a little a little bit thicker than your standard NATO but not a lot thicker it's, it's just mostly just kind of a smoother feeling material so I've got uh, two colors here navy blue and a bond let's go ahead and try them on some watches and I think this is going to be a good time to try out this as well. This is a cool little spring bar tool. Uh, two sides to it. So one side has your spring bar remover and the other side is a pin tool for either uh, drilled lugs or quick release. I've been using this one for a while and I really like it. It's, it's really easy to use. Really handy little tool. Basically all of these straps have a floating keeper here on the one closer to this. So that's going to allow you to size uh, so that you can get the extra flap of strap uh, just at the right place. Uh, it's not like the, uh, the left straps where it will allow you to reposition where the kind of bulge sits, but it's still a really nice feature to have. So you got this little extra tuck here, and then you can just move this keeper up on the wrist. Get it to keep that nice. Here's a Richard Legrand Ocean Fair. Really perfect match with the color here. 
So if you're into NATO straps, have a nice blue dial watch. It's a really cool color of blue. Here's Orient's new diver. I'm kind of calling this one the Kamasu XL. Uh, it doesn't have a name, but it looks great on this Bond style NATO strap. And one of the other things I like about these is the length. Uh, so I have a seven and a half inch wrist and there is a lot of extra strap. You know, NATOs are supposed to have you be able to make a good tuck here and have some extra strap to tuck in. A lot of times with NATO straps that I get, there's not really enough to do that and it has kind of a really awkward look but these are really long straps. Okay, next up we have uh, what they call a premium strap. So this is kind of their standard seatbelt NATO. Runs at about $16.50, which is actually a really good price for a strap of this quality. Really good stitching here, really comfortable material. Not quite as soft as the Elite, but still very soft. But you'll notice that on this one you are getting a spring bar here at the buckle and that that is a folded link there, you can see, our folded keeper, which, you know, for my money is totally secure. I, you know, I don't really have a problem wearing these at all. And again, this is the most common that you see in NATOs. It it's a, feels like a very high quality strap, very high quality hardware. I'm not really that concerned about this popping off, but if you are kind of really into the super secure NATOs, the elite ones that we just showed you is more gonna be your style. But for anybody else who just wants a cool, nice seatbelt NATO, uh, this is a pretty nice option. Nice two-tone color here with the red and gray. They have some interesting color options. Signed hardware. So you get this gray and red striped and then this kind of nice silver. And again, same thing, uh, floating keepers here. So pretty similar to the last one. A uh, lot cheaper though. This is actually for a seatbelt NATO of this quality. Again, really nice price. Let's find some watches to pair them with. All right, Hamilton Khaki King looking pretty sweet on this gray and silver and red seatbelt strap. Really premium look. Here's the Pepsi Seiko Samurai on that silver one. Nice sheen to it. Really pretty looking strap with this watch. Okay, next are the Tough NATO straps is what they build these. These are basically exactly the same strap as the ones we just looked at, the premium, same hardware, you know, nice solid buckle brushing. Um, the only difference is the material. So the other one was a seatbelt style. This is a different one. I, I haven't really felt any NATO straps exactly like this. It is thicker than a standard NATO. It is a little bit softer than a standard NATO, but it's got a, a much more um, kind of bumpy texture. <laughs> a little bit more of a coarse texture to it, which looks really cool. It, it does look tough. It looks like it's a more utilitarian fabric, more of like a military style. So it's gonna give you probably the, the same kind of wear as the you know standard seatbelt ones, um, but just with a different kind of attitude to it. And I actually really like this. I, I, I kind of prefer it. I, th I think the seatbelt ones, you know, really sleek, smooth, cool look. This is a, a tougher look, so good name with it. They sent me two colors here. Okay, let's go ahead and try these on some watches too. Here's my Citizen Bryson chronograph, looking pretty good on this khaki colored, tough NATO strap. You can see the texture on there. Really cool look. Here's the Axios flagship, uh, which is a very kind of, a little almost uh, dressy, classy looking dive watch. So kind of a contrast here with this rougher strap, but I like the way it looks. Um, one thing to note on these uh, tough ones, the straps are a little bit stiffer than, uh, than the seatbelt ones, but still very comfortable on the wrist. Okay, next we have what they call their Super NATO straps, and these might be my favorite ones of the bunch. So this is just your classic NATO strap, but it's better than any other classic NATO strap that I've gotten. It feels you know, pretty similar to your standard NATO strap with just a little bit nicer feeling material. Same thing with the hardware. It's, it's like your standard hardware, but a little bit more polished. Feels a little bit better made. Very nice stitching. Nice heat treated holes. Perfect length, super long. They are giving you this floating keeper still, so a little bit of an upgrade there. And the thing that I really love about these is the colors. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of classic colors, but maybe a little bit 
different than you normally find. You know, this green and orange is not a combination I've seen very much. And the, the saturation is just perfect. They feel like just a little bit brighter, a little bit crisper colors than I've seen on a lot of other NATO straps. And I really like that. They look great. Um, they're kind of making me yeah, fall in love with uh, the original NATO straps again. And these ones are only $13.75, I think. So they're, the, I think, the cheapest ones they offer. And yeah, the colors are just really rich and beautiful on these ones. Another thing I haven't mentioned yet is that North is based in the UK. So if you are in Europe, then these are going to be a lot easier for you to get your hands on, but they do ship internationally. I got them over here in Japan without any problem. But particularly for you guys over in Europe, I think this is kind of a really cool option for you to have. Let's put them on some watches. Okay, this is the fifth Swiss automatic, kind of more of a dress watch, but it has 100 meters of water resistance and sapphire crystal, and the design is more of like a classic casual watch, so I think it actually works on a NATO and it makes sense. Um, you know, this is a watch that you can get wet, so putting on a more waterproof strap works. And I think the green and orange really ties in well with that green and gold on this one. Kind of a fun look for it. This is the teal dial Zellos black tip. It's got a red tip second hand, and so I think that kind of teal and red really ties in well with these colors. This is one of my favorite straps on this watch. I actually showed it in the review I did not too long ago. All right, getting close to the end here. This is their elastic single pass NATO. So this is a stretchy elastic NATO strap. It is single pass, uh, so a little bit get thinner on the wrist, but it does still have the floating keeper. This one is much shorter than the other one, so this is going to be one that you're probably not going to tuck under. And so because of that, rather than having this keeper be the floating one, they've made this one. So this will allow you to adjust this keeper to the end of the strap, wherever it is. This is sort of an alternative to that Marine National style. Uh, this is the first time I've really tried these ones, and I really like elastic straps for their comfort and performance. We've got two colors here. Let's go pick out some watches and try them out. Okay, so here's the Hemel HFT20 on this kind of gray and orange one. The orange accents kind of match in. Really comfortable on the wrist. Um, love the feel of an elastic strap. They work really good. These ones run about $16.50. You can see I did manage to tuck it so you could kind of fold it. You got to kind of fold it under itself so you can get the strap a little bit under. Not sure exactly if that's the way that they recommend you doing it, but you do have some options there. Okay, and here's the Bull of a Lunar Pilot. I love wearing this watch on an elastic strap. It's a large watch. It tends to move around on the wrist, but having on an elastic strap like this uh, really holds it securely in place, makes it a lot more comfortable, and makes that long lug-to-lug -lug, uh, a lot easier to wear. This time you can see I didn't tuck it. I've got it sort of just with the keeper uh, lined up there, so you have some options there. Okay, down to our last two. So this one they just call an adjustable single pass NATO. Um, I've seen a lot of similar uh, straps coming out. It's kind of a popular style now. It has a ladder buckle here that allows you to adjust the length of the strap. So that allows you to get a very custom fit. Basically, you can feed the strap through the buckle system and pull some of it under to shorten it, allowing you to get a custom fit. It's kind of a seatbelt style pattern, very attractive, two-tone, and they sell these for a very reasonable $20. Really nice high quality hardware too. Alright, so here's the Orient Maestro. Um, I think it actually looks really good on this. This is a very dressy looking watch. Um, you might not know what to look at, it, but it actually has 100 meters of water resistance. Uh, this one came on a leather strap, so having a waterproof strap as an option is cool. Um, I like the way that the green and kind of khaki ties into the gold tones of the watch. I'm not usually a big fan of NATO straps on dress watches, but I think in this style it, it actually works pretty well. A lot more sleek and elegant than your kind of more militaristic NATOs. Okay, last strap. This is a single pass canvas NATO strap. So same construction to the elastic ones, different material. Getting a nice premium buckle, hardware, sliding keeper here. Uh, but this is a doubly, double thick layer of canvas. Feels like a cotton canvas, actually fairly soft on the wrist. Nice reinforced stitching on all of the holes, stitching all the way around. 
So kind of a cool strap. I've, I've never seen a canvas style NATO strap. Um, in thickness, it's kind of similar to like a single pass leather strap. You're just getting canvas instead of leather. This one you can pick up for $16.50 as well. It's a really reasonable pricing on all of these, I think. All right, last one. I have this cool little Seiko 5 um, green dial, kind of an explorer style look to it. Uh, it comes as usual on Seiko 5's terrible folded link bracelets that pull hair on your wrist. So um, I'm really thankful that this one has 20 millimeter lugs. So a lot of uh, good options here. And I think that this canvas strap really fits it well. Very comfortable on the wrist, kind of use it as a field watch. Yeah, and so you can see that I'm using that sliding keeper to keep the strap right there. Uh, this doesn't feel like the kind of thing that's going to be able to fold and tuck because it's so thick. So this one, they give you the keeper on this end where you can slide it around. But yet another cool little NATO strap. Okay, and that brings us down to our final items. Again, we've got this cool little uh, spring bar tool that I've been using throughout this whole video. Uh, it's, it's, if you don't have one of these, they're really nice to have, and this is a pretty good one. It's just got a lot more grip to it, a lot more easier to get, uh, get in there with the spring bars. Uh, makes it a lot more pleasant to do. So if you haven't picked one of these up yet, uh, you can get it for about 10 bucks on their site, and that's a fun one to throw into your cart. So finally, we've got this five watch watch roll, and it has a little extra slot for the spring bar tool. So if you buy them together, you can carry your spring bar tool with you right in there. Now this uh, watch roll is $50 on their site. The inside is a very soft fabric. So really nice lining, definitely going to protect your watches from any scratches. And then the outside is, I believe this is a waxed canvas. It's a very nice blue color. You can see the wax canvas is it's lightly waxed. It doesn't feel super waxy. Um, but wax canvas gives you a little bit of water resistance and then just some interesting texture and looks on it. So you can see it kind of picks up little scratches and things and kind of comes alive a bit. And this is a very nice feeling leather strap to tie everything together. So this is a really nice watch roll. Um, it's the kind of thing I would definitely use a lot, you know, especially for taking watches out into the field to film. Um, I'm curious to see how large of watches it can accommodate. So let's grab the largest watches that I just tried on here and try stuffing them in and see if the pockets are big enough to hold them. Okay, Seiko Samurai. No problem. New Orient Diver. No problem. Bull of a Lunar Pilot. Goes right in. Citizen Bryson Chronograph. And finally, the Hemel HFT-20. Yeah, so none of these are particularly huge watches, you know, maybe maxing out around 42, 43 millimeters, but there's plenty of space on either side. You know, I think it could accommodate even larger than that if you had some larger watches. Um, but, you know, I've had watch rolls before where the sizes are varied, so, like, I can fit, like, two large watches and three small watches. These pockets are all the same size. Uh, fits really great in there. Just going to fold up there. Oh, let's go ahead and throw that in, too, while we're at it. Fold that up, roll it, just kind of tie it there, and you can see on the outside it's got a little leather patch here with the North logo on it, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, and I really like the colors. Feels feels really nice. So yeah, it's the kind of thing you can kind of throw it in your bag now, take five watches with you if you want to go on a trip. Or if you're just, yeah, like me, I, I usually do it to take watches outside to film. So I'll throw this in my backpack, take a couple watches, and go out to a park or something and film watches outdoors. Really convenient to have if you don't have something like this. And with that, we've gone through almost everything that North sells. Now, this is not their entire store. They do offer some... Um, standard two-piece straps and some other stuff. So, you know, go check them out there. Again, big thanks to them for sending all of this over. I had a lot of fun um, pulling out a bunch of watches and trying them on for you guys. Hopefully you stuck around and enjoyed all that. Um, some of this stuff is going to go into the giveaway that I'm planning on doing. So if you guys have been following along, 
Uh, the post office here in Japan has been shut down because of the pandemic and I can't ship out internationally. So I have been accumulating more and more things like this to add to a giant giveaway that as soon as the post office opens up, um, I'll have a ton of stuff to give away. So if you're interested in getting your hands on any of this stuff or some of the other cool things that I've been showing on the channel, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to when that giveaway finally opens up. Hopefully in 2021, we'll get there. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for watching. Again, thanks to Nick for sending all the stuff over from uh, North Straps. Links to the site and to all the watches that I showed down below. I have reviewed most of these watches on the channel, so if you're interested in reviews of the watches that you just saw going through, uh, you can search my channel and find those too. But that'll wrap it up. See you later, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.